Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of today's video, it's very different from anything I've ever done. Um, but it's probably one of the most exciting videos I've ever filmed. So as you can tell, I'm doing a puppy haul. This like angle isn't the best um, just because it's a little high and I have like everything set up here and I feel like you can't really see. But it's the best we can do and we're going to try to go through this pretty quickly because I have a ton of stuff and I've watched these puppy hauls and I feel like everyone doesn't even have like that much stuff and the videos are still long. So I'm going to try to go through it as quick as possible but I just first need to mention that I bought all of this stuff with my own money and um... I've been saving my money, so don't just think, like, I bought all this stuff, like, out of the blue. Like, I've been saving my money, and, um, yeah. And then, also, the kind of puppy I'm getting is a French Bulldog, which you will kind of get hints of that because I have some, like, stuff that has French Bulldogs on it. But, um, yeah, if you want to meet her and all that stuff, I'm going to have separate videos um my puppy's first day at home um and I plan to have like a lot of videos with her because she's basically just going to be my whole world so let's just get right into the video I'm going to try my best to do everything like by category but some things might get misplaced but we're just going to try our best so let's get started so the first thing we've got that I just want to get out of the way because it's huge and it's like right here is her food so I got her the Canada Day all, um, all Life Stages food, which is already what she's eating. So I just don't want to change it up. Um, and it's cool because she can eat this for her entire life because it's not only for puppies. It's for all aged dogs. And then the one I got is chicken, turkey, lamb, and fish meals. And it's really good because it's grain free and Frenchies do have allergies to a lot of things so it's just safe to get grain free food and it has a lot of good ingredients and all that kind of stuff so that's that I'm trying to do the big items first so I'm just gonna lay that down there so right after I film this video I'm gonna put her food into here but I just wanted to show you the bag and all that but I got this like air tight container and it comes with the scoop which is the thing you hear like moving around in there but this holds um 35 pounds of food and this bag is a 30 pound bag which will obviously take her a while to get through because she is a puppy and she's very small right now um she's only 10 weeks old by the way so yeah um so i will be putting her food in here um also i want to mention i got her food from a local like food um pet food warehouse so um yeah if you're wondering but you can get this like anywhere it's just a little more expensive at like actual wholesale i mean non-wholesale wholesale stores but um you can also get it on amazon which is um a really close price to the where I got it at the wholesale food store so I would recommend getting it on Amazon if you can't find it um if you can't find like a like food warehouse but yeah this is from TJ Maxx I would recommend getting all literally all of your pet stuff from TJ Maxx Marshalls um the Dollar Tree all those kind of stores I'm gonna be I'm going to try my best to tell you where everything is from because pet stores are so expensive and I literally only got one thing from a pet store. Other than that, I've got everything from either Amazon or like Marshalls and all those stores. So this is, I found at TJ Maxx, but I've seen them at Marshalls as well because it's like the same business, I guess you can say. I don't know what to call it. Then the last thing, the last like huge item is the actual like play pen I guess you can say but I cannot pick that up but it's right here I'll show you after 
So next thing is this blanket. I actually made it. Um, so I made it striped and um, the yarn is from Michaels. So if you want to make a blanket like this, you can get the yarn from Michaels. It's called Loop It and um, you don't need to know how to knit or crochet or anything. Um, you just use your hands. So that's really cool. And then I got these stairs, which I know this is like extra, but my bed is really high. So um, she's not going to be able to get up even when she's fully grown. There's no way she could jump on my bed because Frenchies can't really like, well, they can jump, but it's not good for them to jump because it's not good for their backs. So I got these stairs also from mm, Marshall's. Sorry, I'm gonna be a little confused if I got stuff from Marshalls or TJ Maxx because I went to so many different stores that like it's hard to keep track. But um, yes. Now moving on to like this little section I have right here, which is like for her but not really for her. Um, my mom bought me this little Frenchy car decal, which I'm gonna put on my car. I don't know if you can't see. I don't know how to show you, but it's just a little Frenchy. So that's gonna go on my car. And then my mom also bought me, these are the only things that I didn't buy, but my mom bought me this Frenchie Mom, like, tote bag thing, and I'm going to use this for all her travel stuff, which I will show you next. And I also bought this, I bought this little keychain from Michaels, and I'm just going to hang it on this little bag. So now on to travel stuff. The first thing I have here is a little container with a twist lid. I'm going to use this for her food. And I'm going to always keep this in this bag. So yeah, because she's pretty much going to be going not everywhere with me, but like when she's able to leave the house, she's going to come a lot of places with me. So I'm just always going to have that bag packed for her. Next. Oh, this is from the 99 cent store. Next is this little pop out bowl, which I'm gonna, originally I wasn't gonna buy that container for food. So technically she could eat out of there, but the only thing is that that's not a serving size. So I would put like a serving size amount of food in this bowl if we were to eat, like if we were out when she needed to eat. So yeah, I just bought this little bowl from Daiso and it comes with like a little clip which you can clip it to like her um, leash or the bag or you could just put it in the bag. But yeah, this was also a dollar fifty from Daiso. Next for on the go is her little water bottle. This is from Marshalls. Um, it's just like a little bottle and then you can squeeze it in here and she can drink her water. So yeah this I got for four dollars and I saw it at Petco for like 15 so this is why I will say this like a million times in this video but if you are getting a dog do not go to a pet store because they know that people are just gonna go and spend money because people that don't know that other stores have pet stuff like think that that's the only place they can go for their new pet and it's just a mess so please save your money next thing this is the only thing I bought from a pet store and it's this leash which I won't even be using for a while the only reason I bought it is because um, I'm trying to have all her stuff be like a light lavender like lilac purple color um, and I cannot find a leash this color anywhere even online so when I saw it at the pet store I had to get it but this was like so expensive and I got her a retractable leash um, for when she's learning how to walk. And I got it for like three bucks on Wish, which I have some stuff not actually here because it's in the mail. But I need to film this before I get her so I can set everything up. But yes, I got this leash from PetSmart if you want one, but I wouldn't recommend. But it does feel like good quality. It's just expensive. 
And then the whole reason I went to the pet store was to get her tag, which is like the only thing I recommend getting at a pet store because you can't really get it anywhere else unless you order it online just because they have like the engraving machine there. But I got her this little um, bone. It's like gold and then, um, sorry, I'm like burping. Um, copper in the middle and then it just says her name, which her, her full name is is Violet Claire Reese because my last name is Reese so she's gonna be Reese but yeah her name is Violet Claire which is why I want all her stuff to be purple because Violet you know yeah it's just cute so that's that then the last like travel thing I guess is these little waist dog waist bags which I got from the Dollar Tree and it comes with like an actual container that's shaped like a bone and then it has bags in it already and then one extra and then they also have like packages of just extra bags so if you don't need to buy the container every time so that was a dollar now moving on to treats well I guess I can tell you the, this first I got this hundred pack of training pads from Ross for $20 which was so good it's cheaper than Costco so I highly recommend going there every single Ross Marshalls TJ Maxx I've been to has these boxes and different brands so um, it's not hard to find them or anything like that now on to treats these are Buckley is the brand I guess and they are grain free treats they're training treats for dogs so they're very small but I would probably even cut them in half because she is so little and I don't want her to be eating like so many of these but I do want to reward her when she does something right so that she knows that that's the way to act or do things you know so these are grain free chicken flavor and they have really good ingredients and I got these from Marshall's the next treat I got her are these Okay, I'm not going to try to pronounce the brand because I don't know, but these are wheat-free, all-natural um, little treats, and they're peanut butter flavor, so she'll probably like these. And these also have four ingredients, so very good. Next, I got these small chew bones. They're chicken-flavored, and... Um, it just says for mini or small dogs. And I also got these from Ross. These are from TJ Maxx, sorry. Um, but yeah, these don't really have that many ingredients. A little more than I would prefer, but um, I looked up the brand and they have good reviews. Um, but yeah, they're just chicken flavored. And I just think these would be good when she's teething. I don't think she would go through these very fast because she's like so small. And I probably won't start giving these to her until she's like a little older. And then I got these Nutrisource. Um, sorry, I said that really weird. Nutrisource um, treats. And they're for skin and coat. And they're made with real salmon. And I got these from TJ Maxx, and they're also very tiny treats, so I would use these for training as well. And then the last treats I got are these Old Mother's something. Um, they're just like little biscuits, and I got the mini size because I don't want her eating like a huge treat every time. But um, yeah, so there's that. And now moving on to I would say necessities like you'll see what I mean first thing I got is this I don't know if it's tearless or tearless but I think it's tearless shampoo with buttermilk it's the Burt's Bees for puppies I got this at oh it doesn't say the store name but I'm pretty sure I got this at Marshall's and it was only six dollars and I went to PetSmart and it was like 18 to 20 dollars for this exact same thing and it's brand new and it's perfectly fine so yes I got that and then I could not find conditioner anywhere so I ended up ordering it on Amazon and I got it for like four dollars and some change so I would highly recommend this is just the Burt's Bees oatmeal conditioner and yes great Next up, we got this, 
I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'm just going to say new stock, I think it is. Um, the person I'm getting my puppy from recommended me getting this. It's basically just like an ointment in case they ever get like a rash or burn or any kind of anything. He said you put a tiny bit of this and it's literally gone in a day. It works so good and it's for all animals. So I got this from Amazon. I don't know how much it was, but none of the stuff I got from Amazon was more than like 15 bucks. Like it was good prices for very good products. So obviously this will literally last her her whole life because like it's so big. But yeah, so I got that. Then next we have this Martha Stewart Natural Nose and Paw Lotion. Um, I got this. I found this at TJ Maxx for three dollars, and I just thought it was a really good thing to have just in case she gets like dry especially because it's summer and this is what I'm getting her so she's obviously gonna be hot and stuff which she's gonna be inside because Frenchie's like get overheated I mean she's gonna go outside but she's just not gonna be like an outdoor dog but in case she needs that I have it next thing are these wipes that I'm going to use for her ears and face specifically because they are super good quality and they're like hypoallergenic and you can actually buy these at the vet but they're very expensive so I would recommend getting them on Amazon um they were $15 on Amazon for one and $30 for three so um if you think you need more like if you have a bigger dog I would just get three because it's worth the money but um, this was also recommended to me by the owner of my puppy right now. And yeah, so I just got these because I will be needing to clean her ears regularly because they are just always open and all the dirt gets in. Last thing I got from Amazon is this wound and skin care spray. Um, this is also another thing he recommended me get. Um, it's basically like similar to this. But it's just like a spray in case she gets any kind of skin irritation. I can just spray this on her. So that is very important. And then the last thing that's like in that, I don't know what you call, category, are these pet wipes. I just got these from Ross. And I picked these because they say they're hypoallergenic and they're alcohol free. Some of the other ones, um, that's the only thing you need to be careful about when you're buying stuff from these kinds of stores. Um, but even pet stores, just be very careful that you don't buy stuff with like a lot of chemicals in it because it's obviously not good for your dog. So I'm only going to use these to like wipe down her body like in case she gets dirty or something because I can't really bathe her that often as she has like short hair and it's not good for her skin. Um, I can just wipe her down with these. And then... Now moving on to like, she has two accessories this far. So the first one is this little tiny bandana. It says red, white, and cute, obviously for 4th of July, because 4th of July is like next week. Um, and her collars, one, are coming in the mail, and two, I got them for when she gets bigger, so they will not be, fit her right now. So I just got her this little thing it's not she doesn't need it but it's just cute and it was like two dollars on sale so yeah got that and then the next accessory I guess you can say it's not really an accessory but I got this little life vest because Frenchies cannot swim well some can but most can't this will not fit her right now but it was on clearance so I figured I would just get it I got this at Marshall's um I might get her another one because it is summer and I would like for her to swim this summer. Um, so if I can find another one, I mean they have them everywhere at Marshalls, but um, if I can find one her size, I'll probably get it for her because she'll for sure grow into this one by next summer. So I got this. And then now moving on to like food stuff, I guess you can say. I got her this little mat. It's going to be, oh, I'm holding it upside down. It just says woof on it and it's blue and white because as you can tell, it matches my room because it's going to be in my room. And I'm just going to um, put her bowls on there so that she doesn't get the floor wet. I mean, she still might, but 
just to prevent it as much as possible because I do have like wood flooring and it gets messed up when it gets wet so yes um I'll show you her main bowls first because I love them I got her Ray Dunn bowls which will be big for her right now I know because she's a puppy but this one's for her food it just says tasty and then this is for her water it says gulp on it and I knew I wanted to get her these ever like before I even knew I was getting a dog I, would, I knew if I ever in my whole life got another dog I would get these because I'm obsessed with Ray Dunn like I have a water bottle right there that's Ray Dunn and this little calendar and you'll see a whole pet section later that's all Ray Dunn and I love it so these are both from one's from TJ Maxx and one's from Marshalls same thing you can find them there and they have a bunch of different words on them if you don't like those words and they also do come in two packs but it's cheaper to buy them individual so yeah next little bowls I have she'll probably be using now because she's so small and I was thinking about um having these um outside if she's like playing or anything and I got these from Daiso they were a dollar fifty each and they're um like porcelain I guess you can say and they just say I'm not a bulldog on them and then they have little Frenchies I don't know if you can see that because this is pretty far away but I could not believe I found these for a dollar fifty so I just got two they had different colors but I just like these neutral colors and we're finally in the home stretch on two toys so she only she doesn't have a crazy amount of toys but you know her collection will grow the first toy I ever bought her is this little purple bone it has like a crinkly sound to it this is from the Dollar Tree um so yes I think I have a squeaker in here yeah a little tiny one but for the most part it's just this crinkly noise and then I also bought her this little popsicle from um, the 99 cent store and basically you can fill it with water and put it in the freezer um, so on like hot days you can give this to them and it cools them down and it's a toy it's like chewy so and I thought this would be good for teething as well and then of course to follow the room theme I could not resist buying this little rope toy that has an anchor on it so the anchor is like good for teething and then the rope will be fun to play with her and this is from Ross as well and then this toy is one I knew I wanted to get her um, I found it at TJ Maxx but they even have them at Marshalls and some Ross but not it's kind of hard to find them at Ross but basically they're these little toys there's a bunch of different themes and the puppy or dog gets to like go in these little holes and they take whatever the item is so I got her this one that has little um seahorses I just thought it was so cute and it comes with three inside and then the little seahorses actually have sorry that's really loud actually have squeakers so this will be a super fun toy for her I hope she likes it because I think it's so adorable and the last toy is this little girl right here I don't know what she is you tell me I think she's like a lamb or something but she makes the funniest noise and her ears are like crinkly I got this at TJ Maxx and just listen to this is it not the funniest dog toy you've ever heard so yeah this little girl it's probably I feel like this is gonna be her favorite toy but we will find out and the last thing of the whole haul which like the sitting portion because I have to show you stuff over there but it's not really for her it's just like dog stuff that I want to show you and then obviously her little playpen which I can't pick up so I'm just gonna film it um but this is her bed for now I know she's gonna grow out of it but I think it'll take her like up to six months to like grow out of this so basically it's just like a little donut <laughs> I don't know how to really explain it but it's just can with white inside and I just thought it would be so nice for her to be cuddled up in here because she is used to sleeping with her brothers and I don't want her to feel lonely so I wanted her to have a bed like this where she can feel like there's 
people around her not people but dogs and then I'll have her blanket as well and I also dropped off a blanket with her so she will have that when she comes home that smells like her whole family so I'll put that in here um the first probably a couple weeks and then after that we'll switch over to her blanket that I made her and she won't know any different she won't even remember so yes that is the whole sit down portion now let me show you guys a couple of last little things so I'm gonna move over here um I have this little like organizer thing and I took out two of the little bins I used to have ev bins in every single one but I took them out because I got this little Frenchie which you can't really see I have her name here which is Violet Claire Reese which is so cute and then I have this little jar which is also Ray Dunn as you can tell I'm obsessed and it says woof all of these are gonna have her treats in them or just like her things not my things so this one says woof and then I bought this sorry this is from Ross I already owned this so I'm not really sure um it's probably from like TJ Maxx or something this one is from TJ Maxx my mom bought me this one she surprised me with it because she knows how obsessed I am and this one is from TJ Maxx and then I found this one which says good dog on it it's heavy um from Marshalls and then this one obviously you can tell says puppy love and then the last thing I have to show you is her little I don't know what you call this so I got this one it is for it's a large one which is like huge for her because she's a Frenchie and they're not large dogs um but it is foldable which I will show you guys on the back because it's kind of hard to explain but these are all the different options you can do so in my room I will be having this option one by two and then outside obviously full or just she won't be in this at all and then sometimes I might open it two by two in my room just so she can have a little bit more room like when she's say if I'm showering or something and I no one else is home I'll probably have her in that so she can at least play and rest if she wants but when she's sleeping I will just have it two by one because she's just going to be in her bed and then the other side will be um like a pee pad or whatever training pad but she is already um trained to go on the pee pad but obviously it is a new environment and I don't expect her to be perfect because she's a puppy but I am so extremely excited to get her and I cannot wait for you guys to meet her um I hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe if you aren't already to meet my beautiful perfect puppy I will show you in the next video so stay tuned I hope you enjoyed and have a great day bye